Rodriguez has been known to be crazy about you. Most people don't realize that Robert Rodriguez, that you've been in almost every Robert Rodriguez film. When did you first meet him, and what do you think that he goes out of his way? Forget about Jessica Alba, who's been to the society. He's more attracted, he's more turned on by Cheech Chong. <laughs> Why? Uh, you know, it's, 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 he grew up with Cheech and Chong. That's what it was. He grew up with Cheech and Chong records, he and his, and his brothers and sisters. And then when he was very young, and then he came to town, and he had this little film that he made uh, when he was a student at the University of Texas. And he made it with his brothers and sisters, it was called Bedhead. And it was this little, almost like a stop action to live action film. And it was hilarious. He had it, 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 all the elements of his style were in there. And, and I said, "Well, this this kid is great, you know. He's funny. He says, so, but I, I like to do these action movies, and, and I'm going to do this one. I have this one mariachi that I did for eight thousand dollars, which he did. And and and, he said, and I'm going to make a, a, a the studios are after me, and I'm going to come to town. So he came to town and said, I want you to be in the movie, okay, you know. I said, I said oh, okay, okay, kid. When you get money, give me a call. And, <laughs> And so he did. He has his, his eye to the eyepiece and he sees exactly what's going on. And he talks to you while he's shooting. Uh, do, do a bigger face, I'm going to do this. And, and so, because it's all about making faces for Robert. You know, like where, where the camera is, how big the lens, because you know he's going to cut it. Because he was the first digital director when he was a kid in high school. He had a job at a camera shop. And that's when digital cameras first came in. And the owner of the, the, of the shop says, hey, kid, you're gonna have to sell these, so take it home for the weekend and play with it and so you can tell the customers you know, what's, what's the deal. So Robert went home and then being Robert Rodriguez, he's, he's doing all kinds of things with it. And he came back and on Monday and he showed the guy what he does. And the guy says, well, oh, you have talent. He says, don't ever be afraid of the technology, use it. So he used the tech, a digital technology right from the beginning and he realized that he could be the, the the writer, the director, the editor, the music guy, because it was it was programs for them. It was like an app for them. And you learn how to use it. It's not some mystery. And like, we were making Once Upon a Time in Mexico, we were sitting in San Miguel de Allende, and I, and I came down there at night. And there was some big party going on, and they, they had been shooting for a week. He says, I want to show you something. Text me to his room. And he has his, his editing machine there. And he says, well, here's the trailer for the movie. What's Trump been working for a week? What do you got going? And, and, he's, and, he's in, and it's like a full trader, man. It's like, man, I says, oh, you'll be in it tomorrow. <laughs> and I was in it the next day. Because you know? he, 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 there's, no, there's no person he has to translate the movie to. He doesn't, that's the thing in movies, you have to hand it off. A lot, you know, you hand it to the editor, to the actors, to the writers, to the cameramen, to the, you know, it's a collaborative, uh, of medium, so but he kind of got it down, you know, so that, that he could know exactly, he could shoot exactly what he knew he was going to edit. So it's, it's, he's, a, he's a genius that way.